So let's start this chapter out with looking at the cover. When you glance at it, you see the Straw Hat Pirates strolling through this forest while walking through it. And the thing about that is Sanji's with them, so could it be before they're on the elephant or after or in between? I, I, I just don't know. But Luffy is riding a tiger and he's carrying a backpack full of meat, which is a classic Luffy. And then we have Robin, who just looks gorgeous as always, and she's seen petting Momo's devil fruit form. So we all know Momosuke is an important figurehead for the Wano Kingdom, and that his father was on Gold D. Roger's ship. And now, in this chapter, we find out he could have some special hidden power possibly, which really piques my interest, and I just want to know what it could possibly be. I have to say, One Piece Chapter 821 grabs your attention, and it makes you want to read more. So, we start off with Luffy's group, which consists of Nami and Chopper, and whoever else is going to pursue Big Mom to get Sanji back. And then we have Group 2, which has Robin and Zoro, I believe, and whoever else is going to be going with them to the Wano Kingdom. Now, they're on Zol the Elephant, and they're like pretty much in the center, and they're about to set off to go their separate ways. Before they are able to do that out of nowhere, Zol the Elephant starts going crazy, and everything starts collapsing all around them. At the same time this is happening, Luffy and Momosuke are hearing this voice. Now, the thing about that is they're the only two that can hear the voice. Why can't like Robin, Zoro, or Nami hear it? Does it have to do something with power, but then why can't Zoro hear them? And does it have to do something with hockey? And now that doesn't make sense because Momosuke doesn't have hockey, I don't believe. Now, Luffy tries talking to the elephant, but doesn't get a single response back. Now, it turns out that Momo is the only one that can actually have a conversation with this elephant. And what we know about Zol is that apparently this elephant is cursed and has to walk around pretty much for all of eternity until it drops dead and can't go on. But it turns out in this chapter he could be controlled and that's why he's asking for someone to give him orders so he can fight back. And why he wants to fight back is because Jack is attacking the elephant. He's trying to kill it by gouging out its eyes, taking out the spots in its legs so it collapses down because they just want to kill it and eat it, I guess, which is just cruel. I mean, it will give you enough meat for a long, long time, but, like, why? I mean, that's just mean. So now we have Momosuke here, who we have learned is, like, an important person now and that he's going to be having, like, a big role in the upcoming chapters because we've just learned that his father was on the Jackson and now he might have like some sort of like power or ability we don't know about because he's the only one that can talk to Zool. Luffy can hear him but can't say a thing and everyone else can't hear them because like Nami's like who the hell are you guys talking to what the hell is going on and now, after like all this pain they're having from the elephant talking to them, Momosuke finally gives the elephant an order to fight back. And with a swing of its trunk, it, it takes up like a big panel, which is just epic, by the way. It just looks awesome. You have to see it for yourself. Now, with one swing, he takes out Jack's entire fleet of ships and just destroys them all. And then that just ends it. Then we have Luffy who's like, oh, cool, can we have some meat before we go? Because I'm hungry. And <laughs> that's funny. And then we just end the chapter with Lord Kaido getting a call saying that Jack was wiped out at sea. Now, that's about it for this chapter. And I can't wait to read the next one so I know what Kaido is going to say if he does say anything in the next chapter. And this is just getting really exciting. I can't wait for the anime to catch up to this point too because I want to see the epic swing in the anime and all the ships being destroyed. Now that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like and comment in the section below on what you thought of my second manga review. Now I know it's still not the best but I do hope you guys enjoyed. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Get me to 5,000 subscribers. And I will see you guys in the next video. Minnesota Ninja out! Oh! oh god, peace! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
If you did, please drop a like and also subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out my previous video. It's really crazy. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.